Here's a nice pattern, simple and easy to draw, that I call Dream Dust. Well, hello there, I'm Detroit. The weirdest thing just happened to me, not 10 minutes ago. You see, after filming this drawing of the pattern I call Dream Dust, I went on to do other things like eat and breathe, all the while thinking that I should write this script and make this video. I briefly entertained the idea of talking about dreams, cause it was fitting, but I mostly had no idea what to talk about. A few hours later, having eaten and all, I decided to take a nap, mostly because I was at the bar last night, came home really late or early, depending on how you think of it, and I was tired. I always wake up early in the morning, even when I barely slept, which is annoying and also not the point of the story. Subscribe if you want me to get to the point of the story. So I took a nap. I put a timer for 45 minutes, which is usually long enough to get some rest, but not too long as to not fall into a deep sleep cycle. And usually I don't dream during naps, but this time I did. And while I was sleeping, I imagined myself being tired and sleeping. Like at the moment where I was about to wake up, it turned out as my timer went off soon after, I was dreaming of me having trouble waking up, walking around my apartment and always going back to bed because I couldn't open my eyes. I remember it distinctly. It was like having a surgery and trying to wake up while the anesthetic is wearing off but still kicking. It's like almost being painfully tired. Now I'm fully awake though, obviously, so I'm glad it was just a dream. But it was a dream of me sleeping, while I was thinking of writing this script about dream dust drawing. Isn't that cool? Like, a little bit at least? I'd say it's worthy of a like and a comment about your own weird dreams. And I think the content of my dream should have tipped me off, that it was indeed a dream and not real life, especially when I was in my guest room, or when I was thinking of taking the lounge chair to the backyard considering the fact that I have a one-room apartment on the third floor with no guest room and of course no backyard. Dreams are nonsense, mostly. I think my apartment in the dream was a combination of my four previous apartments. I remember thinking clearly that I was tired and wanting to fall asleep because the blinds were down and it was really dark. I then tried to open the electric blinds but the buttons were strange and didn't work. That doesn't sound really interesting to you, but in reality, in my real life apartment, the window blinds next to my bed do have a problem and are hard to open. It's weird what elements of real life will follow in the dream world and make it seem real. Really weird. I'm fully awake and sipping on a cup of coffee now, but it still feels weird. Like the coincidence is strong, considering I was thinking of this drawing that is dream dust. By the way, talking about drawing, let me talk you through it. Although you might already have a good clue, considering it's pretty basic. I have a limited bunch of symbols I'm throwing in haphazardly. I have the drawing right there, let me count the symbols. So there are dots, obviously, spirals of some kind, circles, moons, stars, S shapes, Vs. Then we have sheep, sun, flying saucer, peanut, face, camera, flower and square. I think that's it which would be 15 symbols. My only goal is to not put the same symbol twice in a row, with the exception of dots and circles to fill in the blanks. What is nice with a pattern like that is that you can fill any shape with it. It's almost more interesting to look at the negative space. For example, you could put the pattern around the silhouette of a head, making it feel like a thought bubble or a dream cloud, for example. I will admit that some symbols are just for filling. Dots and circles, obviously, are the most common ones. Then S, V and spirals are open shapes to break the arrangement of closed shapes like the suns, moons and stuff. The face might be the most peculiar one because it is an open shape but is used sparingly. In fact, I dare you to find what the face symbol is. Let's see if you can find it. The most interesting symbols are of course the camera, the saucer and the sheep. It is because of the sheep and the flying alien saucer that I call this pattern Dream Dust. It is a pattern I first used in 2014, I believe, according to my old notebook, which dates it older than most patterns you've seen me use so far. But enough about drawing though, this isn't a drawing channel. Oh wait, it is, never mind, but I want to go back to dreams. 
Another reason why my dream story earlier was peculiar to me is that I usually don't remember my dreams, or only tidbits of them. I'm not a big dreamer usually. However, recently I started listening to an audiobook called The Sandman, talking about dream, Morpheus, the dream lord. Isn't it ironically fitting? One of the rare dreams I have and remember happens right when I've been spending around 3 hours per day listening to a book about dreams. I don't know how people remember their dreams. I know you can train yourself and write them when you wake up in a dream journal, but honestly I never managed to do that. I don't see the point to be honest. I know some people use their dreams for inspiration, but I don't need it to have original ideas. Usually I get them in the shower. That's another common theme, a lot of people have ideas in the shower. I think it's the concept of running water, being in a safe place, comfortable and warm. And most of all, it's not the subject of this video, which is why I'm ending it before I change subjects. I hope you enjoyed this drawing. As always, you can find it on my Instagram at d 3 sd Subscribe for weekly art videos, mostly ink drinks on Thursdays and digital art on Sunday. Like and comment on the video, that will help me in the YouTube algorithm. I'm Detroit and I think I'm awake. Bye!